Welcome to today's video. I'm Gary Buryawan and today I'm not in Yogyakarta. I'm actually traveling to Rantau Prapat near Medan, Indonesia. So Medan is the third largest city in Indonesia and Rantau Prapat is a small town nearby Rantau Prapat. It's the birthplace of my wife and today we're going to explore it as part of my everyday photography challenge. You can watch the other everyday photography challenge vlog up here basically on these vlogs i'm trying to force myself to do more photography so i'm not just talking about gear all the time but i'm also going out like right now and trying to photograph something make something beautiful with my cameras and lenses as usual my photography gear this time i'm traveling so i'm keeping it very simple i'm just using one camera that's the panasonic gx85 and the lens that I have right now is the 35 to 100 millimeter f4 to f5.6 my absolute favorite lens you can watch why I love this lens so much on the video above where I also share my other uh, top five uh, lenses that I love the most this year in 2023 I also use with me right now the Panasonic 12 to 32 millimeter kit lens I also brought with me the Panasonic 20 millimeter f1.7 but we'll see if we're going to use it right now or not so yeah stay tuned for that and yeah those are all the gear and i'm recording this video right now you're watching it through the dji pocket 2 vlogging camera that's what's recording the whole video right now and now let's try to shoot some uh, images right now all right so for our first scene of this vlog series i'm going to photograph the city of rantau prapat here from above we found a nice vantage point that i'm going to try uh, to take some photographs so I'm using the GX85 and the 12 to 32 millimeter. I forgot to bring my clamp that I usually use to uh, record this vlog video. So I'm just going to uh, pre-zoom my lenses before I'm uh, shooting uh, any of the uh, vlog sequence today. So first I'm thinking of a wide angle kind of scenery here, just a standard one, just to give you an idea of how the city looks fr uh, from above like our vantage point today right here f5.6 i'm at 12 millimeter aperture priority auto iso and i'm using raw i forgot to mention this many times on my vlogs but i'm usually shooting raw and then uh, post process my images on adobe lightroom so yeah let's try to close down a little bit to about f7.1 just because i want more depth of field and just try to capture the image something like this the composition is very simple it's just a panoramic wide angle kind of stuff very simple very standard uh, we're blessed with a blue sky right now so it's quite a clear sky with a little bit of clouds i think it looks nice let's try vertical composition uh, we can see what i'm doing on the camera so this is the composition that i'm uh, happy with i'm happy with the uh, tree on the foreground right there these buildings and then the city on the background so it's like layers building up uh, from the foreground until the background so yeah kind of nice i kind of like it let's try the vertical composition one more time I'm going to raise my camera a little bit i hope you can see what i'm doing on the camera still f7.1 let's uh, open it up to about 5.6 and try horizontal again all right something like this all right i'm going to try to zoom to different focal lengths let's try all right, so I pre-zoomed my camera to 32 millimeter right now. I'm going to try to take a tighter compositions. At 32 millimeter, you can open up uh, different kinds of possibilities. So yeah, I saw that tower right there, broadcasting tower. I think it looks kind of nice in the middle of the city. So yeah, very simple horizontal composition. I'm going to try to balance the composition. I'm going to try to put the tower a little bit to the right of the image just maintaining my rule of thirds kind of composition something like this with the houses in front as sort of a foreground i think it looks kind of nice something like this let's try putting the tower a little bit to the left still trying to maintain the rule of third kind of thing with the composition something like this yep kind of nice let's try horizontal uh, i mean vertical because that tower is obviously vertical so uh, i think something vertical would definitely help the composition to look better something like this maybe All right let's try one more time that's kind of nice all right what about that area over there i want to try to uh, capture compressed kind of buildings on the uh, background right there on the actual city let's try to ignore the tower for a second still at 32 millimeter something like this 
with a little bit of these buildings as sort of the foreground all right okay so for the next part of the vlog i'm still at the same location but i changed my lens to my favorite lens of the year the panasonic 35 to 100 millimeter f4 to f5.6 i want more compression i want more zoomed in kind of focal lengths i want to try to focus on uh, certain parts of the uh, frame right here so i'm zooming to 100 millimeter this is already pre-zoomed as i mentioned earlier i forgot to brought my uh, clamp for the dji pocket 2 vlogging camera so i'm thinking of some compositions that can benefit from the telephoto focal length especially at 100 millimeter something compressed so a uh, lot of layers and buildings will definitely benefit from this kind of composition so let's try that uh, broadcasting tower again on the middle right there with 100 millimeter i think that that'll look kind of nice let's try this is the composition that i was thinking about something like this very simple at 100 millimeter nice all right let's try one more time yep you can see that the building starts to look compressed and kind of stacked together that's the nice telephoto effect that i really love from this lens not just this lens but any telephoto lens but this one in particular is just fantastic for travel so i'm trying to capture that building oh there's a dog right there i want to try to capture that dog ah oh, it's gone all right never mind let's try to capture the image one more time we have that you know a multi-story building right there next to a church kind of a building right there let's try to capture a horizontal composition something like this right very simple i love the broadcasting tower and the uh, church tower and the multi-story building it just adds a lot into the overall kind of image all right something like this maybe 100 millimeter f 5.6 i haven't changed my focal length i'm treating this as a prime lens right now all right so let's try that area over there we can get some stack building kind of effect with the uh, telephoto lens i think and also some greeneries i think looks nice so this city rantau prapat is where my wife is born so the city is nearby the third largest city in indonesia medan so yeah in sumatra island so yeah looks kind of nice i like the composition i like the telephoto effect of this particular lens all right so for the next part of today's vlog so i discovered this place right here so we stopped uh, by the road it's quite safe because we're at a, a very small uh, pathway so i'm discovering uh, those like mountain or hill area right there that i want to try to photograph and over there on the uh, actual hills you can see there are lots of trees it's actually palm trees so this location i mean the city is known for the uh, palm trees uh, they use it to make uh, cooking oil and things like that so the industrial uh, thing is going on pretty strong right here in this uh, rantau prapat town so yeah i'm going to try to photograph it not just because of the palm tree but also because it's just purely beautiful so i found a different kind of uh, composition that i was thinking so i'm going to try one of them right now i'm using the 35 to 100 right now maybe we'll switch lenses later i don't know but i found these beautiful flowers right here as sort of a nice foreground of interest so i'm going to try to use it uh, for like framing the uh, mountain hill area right there with a little bit of these pink flowers right here i don't know what kind of flower is that if you know what kind of flower is that please let me know in the comment down below anyway this is 35 millimeter f5.6 aperture priority and auto iso something like this i'm not focusing on the actual flowers vertical composition All right very beautiful very beautiful the hill area everything just looks really nice all right some bees i'm a little bit afraid of bees but i'm going to try to still take the photographs anyway yeah the flower adds a lot of beautiful foreground to the uh, overall picture nice i kind of like it kind of like it i also like this pathway right here making a nice leading line into the image that's why i really love vertical composition i think because the ability to use like leading lines and things like that to enhance the overall image again f5.6 35 millimeter something like this very simple not complicated at all i think it just looks beautiful all right i'm going to try to switch to other compositions let's, let's try maybe this composition right here still with the leading line but without the foreground I'm going to try to add those trees on the left to add a little bit more into the overall image 
Maybe let's try horizontal composition. I think it'll work. All right, something like this, let's try. Nice, let's duck down a little bit so we can get more of the uh, path, the leading line. All right, I think it looks nice. So I just zoomed my lens to about 68 or 70 millimeter, something like that. And I'm going to try to zoom in closer to that area of the image because I think it'll make a nice layered composition with the trees, with the hill, and also with the uh, plants as a foreground. Makes a really nice layered kind of look. I, I really like that kind of stuff. So let's try to photograph it. Still at f5.6, something like that. Now the leading line is caused by those uh, plants on the foreground making that nice leading lines into the forest area. I hope you can see on the camera something like that. All right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. I'm doing this with one hand because I forgot my clamp as I mentioned earlier for the DJI pocket. This is about 90 or 100 millimeter. So yeah, nice layered composition. Let's try horizontal again at 70 millimeter. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit closer. I'm actually getting the hang of this, trying to zoom with the hand while I'm holding the DJI Pocket. Something like this, kind of like it. Let's try a little bit to the left with the uh, leading lines caused by this road right here. Let's try. Looks nice as well. Kind of like it. Right, let's try to move it, move a little bit to the right. I'll try to use more of this, you know, uh, plants right here as sort of a, a foreground. All right, so this is the next day and we are here in one of the biggest restaurant in the Rantau Prapat area called La Paloma, which belongs to the uh, family of my wife. And we're upstairs and now we're trying to capture this uh, uh, city skyline, uh, not really skyline, but just the uh, uh, city surrounding of Rantau Prapa. Here in the downtown area, we have this nice statue in the middle right there and also this bank building right here and just some uh, houses and office buildings and stores. So uh, I'm trying to uh, capture a nice wide angle scene from this uh, perspective, but I didn't bring my Lawa 7.5 millimeter or any other ultra wide angle lens. So I'm just going to try to do it with a 12 to 32 millimeter set at 12 millimeter. And I'm going to use as usual aperture priority f5.6. So what I have in mind is just this scene right here with the statue, with the bank, and some of the stores over there. We're gonna try to capture uh, the vibe of this city right here. So let's try to do it. 12 millimeter f5.6. Something like this. This is the composition that I was thinking about. I'm trying not to clip the bank building while still having most of the statue right there. All right, let's try it again. This is in the uh, afternoon. This is almost sunset, so the lighting is not really that harsh. We just had rain earlier today, so yeah, it helps to make the uh, grass a little bit greener and also makes the overall uh, sky more clear because less pollution, obviously. All right, I hope you can see what I'm doing in the camera. Again, f5.6, 12 millimeter aperture priority. All right, so another view. This time I'm switching to the left side of the uh, previous uh, uh, scene. So this time I wanna try to get another uh, compressed, uh, smacked kind of building, uh, pushed together, compressed uh, kind of image with the telephoto lens again. So I'm still with the 35 to 100. I'm at about 40 millimeter or thereabouts. So I'm trying to get this nice kind of uh, telephoto scenery right here of the cityscape. Uh, as you can see down there, you can see the cars lining up. So they're making a leading line into the center of the image. I kind of like that. I also love the uh, golden hour right now, really adds into the uh, overall a lighting makes it look prettier. I'm hoping there's somebody who will cross the uh, road right there. Make a nice point of interest. It doesn't really matter. I can just zoom in a little bit. Now I'm at about 50 millimeter. I'm trying not to crop those uh, broadcasting towers because they look cool in my opinion. Something like this. I kind of like the composition. Kind of like how the image turns out. 
with the uh, buildings, the cars, and also the hills as the background. Really like it. Something like this. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that you find today's video to be inspiring, useful, makes you want to go out and try to photograph something today. So share in the comment down below what do you think of today's video and also what have you photographed recently. Share with us as well on the comments down below. Let's have some discussion. Also, don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video and subscribing to my channel down below. Also, don't forget to use my affiliate links on the description and use the super thanks button to further support my channel. Thank you and see you on the next video. Goodbye.